How's it going, guys? Matt here with Premium DNA Toys at Toy Fair 2023. Good to be back in uh, Manhattan for Toy Fair again. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of our booth, show you guys all of the, uh, the stuff that we're announcing here at the show, as well as some uh, holdovers that we've already announced here in person. So let's start here with our Earthworm Gym range. So we've got Earthworm Gym Wave 1, plus the two Earthworm Gym exclusives and the Earthworm Gym Head and Worm Body Accessory Pack. So moving left to right here on uh, this row of production samples, we've got the BBTS exclusive Boxer Shorts Gym. For those of us who played the game, you might remember uh, the idle animation, <laughs> if you leave mm -hmm. Jim standing still, his pants fall down and uh, he acts shocked that uh, that his boxers are exposed, his eyes bug out of his head. So that's that's really what we tried to capture with this one is that expressiveness in the eyes and, you know, just sort of the goofy cornball nature of the character. Um, that's going to be a BBTS exclusive. Um, and as I mentioned, we've also got another exclusive version of Jim for Toy Collector Magazine back here as a package sample. Uh, it's a, a throwback to uh, the old magazine send-away green suit gym. Oh, that's pretty uh, So, yeah, that's, that's why we synced up with Toy Collector Magazine to, to revisit that nostalgia. Uh, the core line here, we've got Jim with Snot. Uh, he's obviously the, uh, the, the franchise's namesake with his trusty sidekick, Snot, turns into his, uh, his rope for swinging from platform to platform. Uh, his arch nemesis, Psycho here as well as Bob the Killer Goldfish and his cat number four, and Professor Monkey for a Head, who was developed for the original Playmates line, but actually never released. So this is the oh, first, wow. time first time he'll, uh, he'll have a toy on the market. So did we're excited those about him. Did you have those Playmates figures? I did, actually. Yeah, yeah. I did back in the day. The they were great thing. figures. Yeah, they were. These are, like, when I think of, like, modern figures, I think of those but just like completely updated with articulation yeah and application this kind of really gives me that feeling of when i had right it and that's kid. kind of our our ethos you know at premium dna is making things better than you remembered them or you know more to the point exactly how you remembered them which is you know better than than they actually were <laughs> yeah <laughs> it matches your memories not the real thing what's the articulation like on earthworm jim uh, so he has about 30 points of articulation. Uh, he's super articulated. You can move pretty much everything that you imagine on him. Uh, feel free to handle it if oh, you want really? to. Yeah, these are cool. these are production samples. He might be sticky tacked down, okay. but yeah, feel free to pick him up and oh, and test the articulation or at least the arms if you can't get yeah, the sticky tack off. <laughs> yeah, and the head rotates as well. It right? does. Okay, yeah, it yeah, does. And obviously the uh, the head accessory pack over here. Obviously we got the burned head out, but. Oh comes with all of these different heads that you can mix and match on the figure and the worm body as well. Cool. And this is just wave one. Is there a plan for wave two as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. That is impressive. And these are available for pre-order, all of these, right? They are, yes. And they will be shipping in October, or rather leaving the factory in October, arriving late October, early November. So these are like final, final, actual... Uh, well, here, they're right? production samples, production samples so... A couple minor tweaks, but pretty close to final, yeah. Okay. The packaging is uh, the final packaging. I'm not sure if you caught the slip covers for the boxes, too, down here. It got Earthworm Jim with his trademark groovy expression and that silly grin on his face. <laughs> that is great. Cool. They're fantastic. They look so great. Thank you. Really nice. The crow is really, really good, too. All right, so moving on along, we have so, all of these. Yeah. This, this was a new announcement. These too, are right? all new announcements over here. So starting here on the middle shelf, we've got our Garbage Pail Kids standalone line. So all, uh, a lot of you will have already seen our uh, our crossover line, Mad Balls versus Garbage Pail Kids, which will be shipping uh, either Q4 or Q1 of next year. Um, this line, yeah, these, what you're filming now are actually they're an extension of the Mad Balls versus Garbage Pail Kids line. These are going to be foam balls. Okay. Um, they're Garbage Pail Kids characters as Mad Balls. So those are all kinds of fun. More accessible price point than, you know, more premium collectibles. So mm. definitely want to want to make those as accessible to people as possible. And the, uh, the standalone line that I mentioned, it has the same articulation system as our Mad Balls figures and our Mad Balls versus GPK figures. So all of those will be cross compatible with what we call our Magular articulation system which means the heads and arms are interchangeable oh, wow. so you right. can make your own uh, your own mashup characters 
all kinds of play value there. They also come loaded with all these fun accessories, like you see Nasty Nick the Vampire with uh, with his victim here and his pet bat. Mean Gene <laughs> comes with a harpoon gun, a knife, and dynamite. And Nat Nerd comes with these awesome comics that uh, have GPK characters as popular comic book characters. Got a Wolverine parody here with Swiss Army knife attachments oh. for claws. <laughs> it's so gross, but so great. It, exactly. That's the beauty of it, right? Kind of Earth, uh, Garbage Pail Kids in a nutshell. Yeah. Gross, but you great. You can probably see the articulation here, too, on this one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, like Tattoo Lou. Cut. Yeah, that looks good. He's looks all good. inked up. Inked up. <laughs> True That's to cool. form. How uh, far in production are these? What's, uh, what's these are the initial prototypes. So these... Release date TBD, uh, it's probably going to be quarter two of next year. Okay. And this is the first wave? This is the first wave, first yeah, wave. for Garbage Pail Kids. And if it does well, maybe wave two after that? Definitely, so, definitely. Cool. I mean, there's a big roster with Garbage Pail Kids. Absolutely. So, so many great characters to pull from. You've seen Barnyard Commandos? We have. This is wave two, the first three characters from wave two. So obviously wave one shipped earlier this year, um, continuing the line. Uh, Got three new characters. For uh, for wave two, we've got Commodore Fleece Cardigan here, Private Bull Bellwether, with his jet pack and aviation hood. He's honestly my favorite of <laughs> of the new ones. He's amazing. Uh, General Hamfat Lardo, with uh, all kinds of fun accessories and and fun puns, true to uh, the nature of of Barnyard Commandos. All yeah. kinds of dad jokes and puns worked in. Like Steinet here on the satellite dish. Clever, yeah. clever, clever. A nod to Terminator. Yeah. That's, so that's cool. the first three figures of Wave 2. The fourth figure will be revealed here soon, uh, as well as price details and release date. Okay, cool. Now, these are, uh, we've seen some of these. How far along yeah. is Banjo Kazooie? Banjo is done, so he's leaving the factory actually at the beginning of next week. So, pre orders will be shipping within the month of October, and he'll be going up for sale after pre orders are delivered. Yeah, we've right. obviously we've we've shown him quite a bit, talked about him quite a bit, but it really came out phenomenal this two pack. Um, yeah. The play value is outstanding with being able to take off Kazooie's legs and plug her into his backpack here, pulling this flap off. You can change uh, between two sets of hands to have him play the banjo, uh, and he's obviously got two different heads as well with a closed mouth expression and a grinning expression. That was great. This was newly announced, too, yes. here at Toy Fair. Yeah, so, yeah, we acquired the Care Bears it. license. We're really excited about this IP, too. Grumpy Bear is the first in a wave of four, uh, which will also feature our articulation system with head and, and arm swapping, so you can mix and match your Care Bear favorites. We're, we have big plans for this line, yeah. so definitely stay tuned. We're going to be doing a lot with Care Bears. Huge um, property. Uh, have you announced the other characters in wave one? We haven't yet. They're in development, and we will have prototypes ready to show off soon. Cool. So, yeah, definitely exactly. stay tuned. Yeah. Moving this on to uh, super Mars Attacks. This is exciting. Mars yes. Attacks. I have loved this movie for a long time. I think everyone has wanted action figures of these. And for sure. Here they are. And ours are actually based on the original trading cards that were the source material for the movie. Um, you know, there's been a, a fair amount of Mars Attacks product on the market, but it's all primarily been just kind of the one classic alien. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do the whole array of aliens. If you uh, scan over to this concept art, you can see the two aliens that are going to be in wave one, uh, as well as the accessories that they come with. They come with these dio pieces, lots of weapons. Uh, this is my personal favorite here, this diorama piece. Um, these flames with the uh, alien praying mantis, oh, wow. which the praying mantis is actually articulated. You can move the claws, you can move the jaw and the head. Intense. So, yeah, wow. definitely extending that play value there. And so they'll all have different price points considering some are more deluxe than others. They will likely be a uniform price point like okay. the Earthworm Jim line, likely be consistent across all the figures. Oh, great. So we'll have details on, on price and release date on these okay. here soon as these well. These are still a little uh, ways away, right? Uh, they will actually be up for pre-order likely before the end of the year. Oh, wow. So, yeah, we'll pin down a date here soon and, and let everybody know. There are two more characters coming for this wave, too. Yeah, well, they, you know, the final product is going to have a clear helmet. It's just the prototype okay. is a little bit foggier. Uh -huh. But, um, yeah, he also comes with a second head. Cool. Um, you can see the detail on the head sculpt is, is phenomenal. Yeah. The, brain way, the brain grooves there. Yeah. No smooth brain on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. 
And last, but certainly not least. Yeah, yeah. bad Mr. Frosty, the Clay Fighter OG. So Clay Fighter is gonna Clay Fighter Wave One is gonna be a wave of four as well. Uh, bad Mr. Frosty is obviously kind of the flagship character of the franchise, so we wanted to to get him done and show him off first. Um, he, as you can see, comes fully loaded with three different sets of hands that are interchangeable. Uh, as well as three different expressions from the games. Uh, this smashed snowman head, and then the Clay Fighter 2 head from Judgment Clay, the sequel. <laughs> You're going deep into the Clay Fighter lore. Then. Yeah, it's a personal favorite. A, a little more obscure, but you know, it's one of those cult favorite games. Those of us who grew up with it loved yeah. it because it was an alternative to Street Fighter, you know, right. when, when so many fighting games were, were vanilla and, and cookie cutter back in the day. Yeah. Clay Fighter stood out as, as you know, being totally out of left field. Yeah, it had so much personality. Totally, so totally. It's great. What's the articulation on one like this? I can't even think about it right now. Uh, he also has 30 plus points of articulation. Wow. Will each ball move? That's yes. Wow. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> each snowball will move on this thing. That is wild. And then I guess this is also part of a wave that you haven't announced yet. Correct. Yep. Exactly. Same. Same type of thing. We'll uh, we'll have the price point and release date here soon for everything. And that will be four or five figures in a wave? Or? Four figures in wave one, yep. We've got actually a second one almost ready to show off. Was almost ready for the show, but not quite, so we'll be teasing him soon, followed by the next couple characters. And price point to be revealed later, too. Correct, yep. Right. Anything else you want us to, to know that you haven't announced yet? I mean, you've shown a lot, and you've announced a lot just yeah. this one weekend, so. All I would say is stay tuned. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, you know, in addition to what we've got in the hopper that we're developing, as far as figures that we can show off soon, we're working on some new licensing deals that are going to be really exciting. Can't say anything just yet, but all I can say is stay tuned. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. I'm excited. Right. Hope you guys will be too. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. That's premium DNA here at Toy Fair. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of great reveals. Really fantastic figures. Awesome.